In this video, we are going to see how we can route differential pair in KiCad. So the differential pairs are almost in pretty much every design. Uh, USB, of course, we know, but there are other display, LVDS display pairs that are differential pairs, maybe Ethernet and many more differential clock pairs and other things. So, so let's open up a schematic just for the purpose of understanding how to route a differential pair. The one thing that you need to know, I use this example, for example, a connector, a register, and an LED. And it's not a real life example, but for the purpose of your understanding this thing, I added these two resistors, RC and R4 here, and then another two pin header, and I named it arbitrarily to USB underscore P and USB underscore N. And then there is a reason I added underscore P and underscore N here that will clear to you, become clear to you in a moment. So for now, anytime you need to route any pair as a differential pair, you need to name them like that ends with underscore P and underscore N or underscore plus and underscore minus. That it, it should, should end with a P and N or plus and minus. Underscore is not required. For example, USB plus and USB minus could have been perfectly fine. But any other name, it will not recognize these pairs as an indifferential pair. So with this set, just just uh, go through. Let we have exported this thing and place all these components. This R3 and these are the two. Uh, to net that we want to um, route differentially and of course uh, we could just route it like we are trying to do it in this fashion as well uh, in a regular trying to make it look like a differential pair but I mean this, this could probably also work in many scenarios but if you are uh, it, it looks like a differential pair but probably not as uh, great looking let's say if i set my grid to lower and then if i try to move it uh, a little closer this this could be something we could try this but again this is uh, i mean i i can use a smaller grid and then route it trying to bring it closer uh, so if I, for example, it's still not set to a lower grid, so let's try to use a mm, 5 mil trace and then I will delete this, go ahead and delete this trace, try to bring this closer mm, and then I can try routing it closer, making it look more like a differential player but it somehow it's not allowing you. So all these problems that come up with these mm, trying to manually route these things as a differential pair just go away. If we try to route it as a, a differential pair, I will reduce or something like this. I, delete, I deleted this thing. So let's go back and uh, ch check. Uh, I'm trying to delete the existing. Oops. I'm trying to delete all the existing routes that I, that I have done. So now it's clear. And then if we do, what we need to do is look at this route differential pair. That's the thing that we need to select this thing. So if I click this thing, but before I do that, I'm trying to show is that if I try to route these two differential pair, which is the right of this register, start for an article, complain because unable to find a complementary differential pair net make sure the net the names of the net belonging to a differential pair and with either either underscore and an underscore p or a plus and a minus so that's something you need to so these two uh, nets for example could not be routed as a differential pair because their net names are not the way we want it to so we'll just route it as a regular net not a differential pair net but now if i try to route it as a these two nets as a differential pair you see that how nicely they can they they come along together 
and then I can just simply go ahead and click it and, and, and click it and then uh, route it like this now for example I could start with try to go a little like this and then some place which may have in, in real life scenario we could have um, a mess that could look more like this uh, eventually going into this thing so so we, we can probably do that uh, route it like this and then eventually uh, finishing it to the way we want it to be the one problem that we see is that this net is smaller than this net so maybe I should have uh, I should have uh, routed it with this one going a little towards the down towards the lower side to match it but you can see it's not that hard it's it, it's much better than routing them routing them like this so now if I go to see see if it how it automatically finds a way and it um, it connects them to so the key thing here is if I do I can I want to delete it again and walk you through a couple of more uh, finer points uh, and these are uh, these are like how we how we select the width of the differential trace and how I select the separation between those differential trace so we'll go through that once more so I click again this differential pair click on this it starts routing but before if you right click this you can select the trace width the track and trace width and you could select the differential pair dimension you could use a select a as a default values and then you or you could use a custom value and that will depend upon what's the impedance that you want to maintain uh, for a given differential pair for example the USB differential pairs are 90 ohm uh, typical LVDS display signals have 100 ohm and they are similar between 90 to 100 or between uh, 85 to 115 those are typical values of the impedance and you will like to do an impedance calculation I'm not going to go through this so for example in this one I just use a trace width of 6 and maybe a trace gap of 8 I don't know at this point what their impedance would be. You could use a, a, a an on any online calculator to do that, but to give you an idea, but you could eventually route it. And this one has the required trace width and the trace gap that will maintain the kind of the impedance that we want to do that. Once you have done that, you could also actually do a tune differential pair length as well from here. Uh, in this case, it's not required if it, it's already there, uh, it's already matched, and then you could also match the, 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 the differential pair tuning. So, all those things are available on this keycap, and that's a very nice feature. For any time you have a differential pair, make sure you make use of the differential pair routing um, feature in keycap and route them differentially. Thanks for taking a look.